Good morning! I hope you're all having a really great day, whatever day it is that you guys are watching this. I'm all ready for the day because I'm about to head to the shops to purchase the bag I showed you guys in last week's vlog. I put it on hold the other day just because I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I'm going to go back and buy it today. I also have to buy a few other bits and pieces from Sephora and Mecca just because I'm running low on some of my makeup. So I just want to go stock up before I leave because I honestly hate having to try and find something when I'm overseas on holiday. I'd just rather already have it on hand with me. So I'm going to go get stock ups just so I'm not running out of anything while I'm away. I just like to be really nice and organized with that sort of stuff. Yeah, we're gonna go and do that, but I'm so excited to get the bag, you guys. It's honestly just the perfect bag for Euro summer. I'm so excited. It's really big, so it'll fit, you know, my towel, water bottle, whatever it is I need to be carting around for the day. And I'm really excited to get her. So the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is obviously getting it overseas because it is like on the bigger side but i'm thinking i'm just gonna have to ditch my usual carry-on handbag and then just take that as my carry-on instead and maybe leave like the dust bag on it or whatever just so it doesn't get damaged during the transit but i just don't want to like shove it in my suitcase i don't think and i could get it over there because i know it's more beneficial for like getting your tax back and stuff like that and i do love getting a purchase when i'm on holidays because it reminds me of that time but honestly it gives me way too much anxiety and stress the thought of not getting it like if it was like sold out and then I don't have it for the whole time I'd just rather get things in advance and just go over there with it because it's too stressful I know you could look at it as like if it's not meant to be if it's meant to be it's meant to be but no we are not doing that I already have so many of my outfits planned and a lot of them revolve around matching this bag so we're doing it this is my outfit of the day I'm just wearing this little white baby tee these tailored pants that I am obsessed with I love them in this gray color then my New Balance, these are the 530s. I'm obsessed with the 530s still. I just love them so much. They're definitely my favorite New Balance shape. I know a lot of people really like the 550s, but I just, I can't get around them. They just look like tennis shoes to me and I don't know. Yeah, these are definitely my favorite shape, the 530s. And they're more of like a dad shoe, so I feel like that's why. Um, and then just my Celine Sunnies and then just my YSL bag. It's actually school holidays right now. I totally forgot to the shops are really busy. It looks really quiet right now. Pinion Park looks really annoying. up a few little extras i got myself a fresh green juice this one is just i think it was like a detox one with kale cucumber apple ginger lemon and then i did have pear but i got the pear taken out because i'm not allowed pear while i'm on my cleanse and then i just picked up some beautiful roses i usually so basically the florist that i go to they have smaller bundles and then I'll usually just grab two and then get them to like customize them together. So yeah, that's what I do in case you ever go to the florist and the bunch is like really small. Definitely just ask them to like customize it to what you want. These roses are a little bit small to be honest, but I miss having fresh flowers. I used to do it all the time. I was looking through my camera roll from like this time last year and I'd get fresh flowers all the time and I haven't done it in so long and I just love having them in the home. It really completes the space, makes me feel really calm and just like my life's together so i don't know why i stopped doing it to be honest it is like a little bit of maintenance so that's probably why they look so beautiful though and i'm excited to put them in the apartment that was a very successful shop i did so well obviously secured the bag i wanted which is amazing i'm so happy with her i didn't actually realize until i went in the other day to try them well try the bag sorry um that they actually come in a few different sizes and like shapes and stuff because they are handmade which i didn't realize 
size so when i first tried it on when i got there i was like oh my god like my dreams are shattered this is huge like it was just like really long and big and because i'm so small it just looked really silly on me so i was like this isn't gonna work like it's just so not sold um and i'd have my heart set on it so that was really sad but then she told me that they actually have a heap of different sizes and brought out a few more so i tried those ones on and then i put one of them on hold because it's much shorter and the strap was shorter as well because the other one was just swamping me i'm just way too small and it was just looking a little bit ridiculous so the one i end up getting is perfect it's got yeah shorter straps it's the perfect shape definitely the shape i was after so i'm very happy about that i didn't even realize that was a thing and another thing i didn't realize um, she was telling me that obviously I know when you travel overseas and you make a purchase, if you show them your passport and stuff, you can get a tax back um, refund at the airport. But she told me that because I'm going overseas soon to take my receipt with me and because I'll obviously be carrying it as my carry on to take my receipt and I can get a tax back at Brisbane airport. So I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, but I'm going to try. I'll let you guys know how I go with that. The only thing that was a little bit annoying is it doesn't actually come with a dust bag because the material and obviously I was wanting to like carry it and trans transport it in the dust bag so I'm gonna have to make do without that and just like try and make it work and try and keep it as clean as possible so that's a little bit of a pain but we'll see how we go and then I had so much success at Mecca and Sephora everything I wanted they had in stock in my shade which honestly is such a rare occurrence I feel like I always go to buy makeup and I'm like no, nah, I don't have any of it. So that was so good. So I'll show you guys everything that I ended up getting. You know, I'm going to go home now, do a little haul for you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys everything that I got. I'm just drinking my juice that I got. It's really good. I've definitely adjusted to the green juice life. It's not that bad, you guys. It's honestly fine. I don't know if that came off as me trying to convince you guys or trying to convince myself. Honestly, it's a little bit of both. <laughs> so pretty I definitely missed having them in the apartment they just complete the vibe and make it feel so nice in here I do need to adjust the heights of some of the stems just so it's sitting a little bit better but they look really pretty it's time to do a haul I'll show you guys everything that I got so from Sephora hello you joining us from Sephora I those are my two little samples for the tinted moisturizer and then I just got a top up of my foundation I was actually gifted this in PR it's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation a while ago and it was actually my perfect shade and I really really like the foundation are you scared? <laughs> what? I wear the shade 280 and then uh -uh, no chewing and then I also just got some new beauty blenders so I just got a black one and then also a pink one just because I use one for my cream contour and then the other one for my concealer so I want them to be different colors so that I'm not muddling them up and then I also just got why are you so scared you're so cute and then I also just got a powder pocket puff thing because I've been wanting to try <laughs> one of those i don't know about the shape of it but we'll see how it goes and then from mecca i actually got a heap of stuff and they've sort of like wrapped it all <laughs> this is fun isn't it yeah what's the sounds fun sounds hey Very interesting for you to play with. So I'll unwrap those in a second, but I did also pick up my Mecca Beauty Loot box. I can't remember. I'm level three. I was going to say, I don't know what level I'm on, but level three is the level I am on. And then what did I get? Some little eye masks. Those will be so perfect for my flight. Face mask. And then, oh, just like a heap of 
face masks basically is that all yeah cute they'll actually be so perfect for my flight though so i'm very happy about that From Mecca, I just got a little top up of my bum bum cream. This is a moisturizer I use. It just smells so good and it's the best. I love it in the little travel size as well. And then these makeup wipes I've used before and they're really good. It's only $5 for a packet and they just really get the job done. So I just got those for those nights where I really can't be bothered to do my whole skincare <laughs> removal routine while we're away. And then I never thought I'd see the day, but I actually ran out of my NARS liquid blush in Orgasm. You guys, this is the best blush. I have tried so many others recently, Charlotte Tilbury, everything you name it. And this one is still my favorite. It's the one I'm always reaching for. I'm just obsessed. And honestly, the bottle a little bit goes a really long way. So I honestly never thought I'd run out. But apparently I'm a little bit of a blush you know, like to overkill the blush. So I did run out, but yeah, I'm stoked that they actually had it in stock because I was pretty sure that they were discontinuing that. So I'm very happy that they haven't. And maybe that was just like a little rumor. I'm not too sure. And then in my last beauty loop box a while ago, I was given one of the little samples of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and I really, really enjoyed it. So I just got a medium size of that one. And then I'd also heard really good things about the uh, Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. So I got my hands on that to see what all the hype is about. And then uh, I just got a top up of my go-to translucent powder, just the Laura Mercier one. I've used this for years now and I can't see myself using anything else. And then I actually, I obviously already know what scent this is. So I originally just went in getting that, but then I saw this one and I smelled the tester and it smells so good, you guys. I am obsessed. Next time you go to Mecca, make sure you smell this one because it is in incredible and I just couldn't not get both so obviously had to get both for my holiday I love smelling just really delicious on holidays obviously always but you can't just always go around smelling like coconut or a holiday you know so <laughs> um these ones obviously had to get for my holiday because I want to smell just really summery hello are you boys watching mommy's haul do you like it so far what's your favorite it's been your favorite thing the bum bum cream hey and then in here i just got a little compact mirror just to have handy in my bag while traveling just from chanel just because it's really cute i'll show you guys right, there's the... so it's just like a little black one i really wanted the white but they didn't have it in white anymore i don't think they even make it but look how cute it is just a little compact mirror so you have both sides perfect and then we have my new pride and joy isn't she beautiful i'm so in love with her so pretty honestly the perfect size for me i personally hate i'm one of those people that just hates carrying multiple things and for some reason i always end up carrying multiple things and i can't stand it so this size is perfect because i can fit absolutely everything i need in here i can fit my towel water bottle sunglasses my book sunscreen Whatever it is I need will fit in here if I need to get something out and about, get some snacks, I can fit it in there as well. So I'm very, very happy with my purchase. Just honestly so stunning and I'm so happy with this piece. I just took all of the packaging off and she is so pretty. I'm so excited to take her away with me. This is a little packing system that I have happening. So basically everything that I'm taking away with me, I've got listed in my notes and then all of the highlighted things are things I still need to either do or purchase. And then as I've been purchasing them, I've been deselecting them. So for example, I obviously still need to get everything that's highlighted, but today I purchased some of these things so I can deselect those. 
so that when I go to actually pack, I've already purchased everything that I need. Obviously, all of these won't be highlighted, and then I'll go through it and tick everything off as I go. But if you guys have been in need of a better way to organize what you're still needing to purchase or what you're needing to organize, this has helped me heaps as well. Um, just because then I know what I still obviously need, and then in a separate notes, I will have like a separate list of like makeup products and where to get it from or whatever. But just as like an overall like general viewpoint this has been really really helpful so I would definitely recommend doing something similar if you're feeling a little bit all over the place with your packing I'm not sure if you guys can tell but my face is way darker than the rest of my body I feel like it's not looking too bad because I did go in the sun for a little bit earlier this morning but for the most part I'm looking so pale compared to my face I don't really have a foundation that matches me when I'm really pale because I usually am always fake tanned or I just don't worry about it or I don't have makeup on before I fake tan I guess like a few days before but I'm really trying to hold out on my fake tan until Monday because I have a heap of filming and shooting that I need to do next week so I want to be nice and freshly tanned for that so if you guys are wondering why my foundation doesn't match my face today that is why I'm just having my hot chocolate I'm so obsessed with this hot chocolate you guys it's the one that i showed you in my last video and it is so good it's arguably way better than a normal hot chocolate i'm just so obsessed with it honestly i have it almost every single afternoon and it is so delicious you guys should definitely try it if you do go on a cleanse this is amazing you get very excited about it you can obviously have it when you're not on a cleanse too but if you're on the cleanse it definitely gets you through if you have sweet cravings like i do um, but yeah, speaking of the cleanse, I'm two weeks in, which is really exciting. I'm so proud of myself for getting through two weeks. I feel like because you spend so much money on the supplements in preparation for it, and then obviously you do the 24 hour fast the first day as well. I feel like once you've done the 24 hour fast, you're like, oh, can I even be bothered doing this for four weeks? Like that's such a long amount of time, but you're like, well, I'm not going to do it again. I've just done a 24 hour fast. Like I don't want to have to do that again. I may as well stick to it now if that makes sense. And also I would definitely advise, um, yeah, just buying your supplements and stuff straight away. Cause once you spend that money on it, you're like, this is not going to waste. So that definitely helped. But yeah, I'm over halfway now and I feel amazing. I feel really energized. I feel great. I obviously haven't been having any caffeine and I'm feeling so good. I thought I was going to really struggle without pre-workout because I've had pre-workout. Um, by the way, I'm just letting this cool down because it is quite hot still. I've had pre-workout every day for probably like 10 years now. So a really long time. So I guess it has been good having a break from having that and relying on that for my workouts at first i was like this sucks like i can't do it i can't work out without it um but you can so many people work out without pre-workout and they do just fine but it definitely does obviously help like pre-workout is proven scientifically to help you be energized and whatnot um but yeah i'm honestly feeling amazing i feel so good my sleeping routine is really good i've been waking up on time with no issues like i've always been pretty good with waking up but i've been like really good with just like being in a really good healthy um routine overall obviously i haven't been going out so i haven't been very social which obviously helps with your routine and stuff as it is anyway but yeah i'm feeling good two more weeks until europe i can't believe it's literally around the corner. I'm honestly just in shock that it's only two weeks away, but I'm so excited. But yeah, that's my little cleanse update. I'm trying to do an update at the start of each new week. So the first vlog I did was the start of the cleanse. The last vlog you guys saw was the start of week two, and then this is the start of week three. So yeah, week three is in full force, and then we have week four, and then we are done, and we're off to Europe. Nick is actually currently in the tattoo studio getting some new tattoos. I don't know what he's getting, but she, like the girl he goes to, she's leaving for holidays, I think like tomorrow or next week or something like that. So it was the last time slot she had, and he really wanted some new tattoos before we go away. So I don't know if I've even told you guys, actually, have I even told you guys the plan for Europe? I don't think I have. Maybe I'll include that in the next vlog so you guys have something to look forward to. So in the next vlog, I will give you guys an update on everywhere we are going, 
who I'm doing what with, the whole rundown basically. So I'll run through all of that in the next vlog with you guys. Um, but yeah, basically he wanted to get tattoos before he goes away, obviously. So he is in getting some tattoos today and I don't know what he's getting. So we'll just have to wait and see. It's just so funny because when he first started getting tattoos, like his first one, I was like, no, like I need to see what it is. Like show me where's it going? How big is it going to be? Like give me all the details. And then now I'm like, I don't even, like I don't even know what tattoos he has anymore. Like, I couldn't tell you. The only one I know, like, for sure is he has a little A behind his ear. I don't know which side it's behind. And then he also has an M for Milo. So, he's getting off Romy. Um, but this afternoon, we're actually going to go to Burley Hill. We're going to watch the sunset. It's the last really nice sunny day. Like, a week, there's a heap of rain coming. So, we're going to go watch the sunset, get some food. Sorry. Hi there. I'll just open it up if you can leave the reception. Thank you. Just try that again. It might have ran out. Yeah, easy. Thank you. Sorry, I've had deliveries coming all day long. Oh, Jake's just trying to call me. Speak of the devil. Hello. Hello. Um, I was just curious. I'm like mm -hmm. driving back now. Yeah. Um, do I have time to get a uh, coffee from Starbucks? <laughs> from Starbucks in Broad Beach? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. I'm um, just walking past it. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. I'll see you I soon. I was just curious because I don't want to like push it and then yeah, just get back. Anyway. But we can leave as soon as I'm back. Yeah, sounds good. I'll make sure I'm ready. Okay. Amazing. Easy. Thank you. Love you. See you soon. Bye. Love you. Bye. Um, so yeah, I don't know what tattoos he's getting, but yeah, anyway, what was I even saying? I always get sidetracked. Um, yeah, we're going to go watch the sunset, get some food to eat. I took a look at some options because obviously the options I'm allowed are minimal, but I've decided to go with fishbowl because I can just get like a cabbage salad with like cucumber and stuff and then uh, just like heaps of protein. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to get dressed now because Jake's going to be here soon. Don't know why on earth he thinks it's okay to have a coffee at 4 p.m., but he's crazy. He has so much work to get done over the next few weeks leading up to his uk launch so he is a very busy boy so he has some very late nights at the moment my sexy tattooed boyfriend <laughs> you know, <mate. laughs> thank you blush Stop. <laughs> who, has a coffee at <laughs> who has a coffee at 4 p.m you'll actually be surprised a lot of people yeah. do I, I was at the airport last yeah. night and I feel like in airports a different story though. Like people could yeah, be true. like trying to stay awake hey, or I'm, something. Maybe I'm maybe I'm European. And maybe they drink coffee. At, yeah, but they go to bed at like they have dinner at like 10 p.m. Yeah, true. Yeah. No, I just wanted to have. You just are addicted to coffee. Energy. You love it. Okay, yeah, I'd say you love it. <laughs> you got a new. How many did you get? Just this one. Just one. Oh, you only got the one. Yeah, because oh. when I got there, didn't really have much time. I didn't have. Well, it takes her so long because they're so detailed. Yeah, to like um, stencil them in. And we kind of like, I had a folder of like ideas. Mm. And then she's like, which spot do you want done most? And then yeah. so I said, this little that area. Spot, yeah. Um, and then we kind of went through them and like, look at what fit the area best. And yeah. this kind of did. And then she had to like take it and then redraw it and then did like some other little bits to it. To yeah. change it a bit. And then by that time, um, it looks good. We it actually is very did detailed. It. She and we were it's like, crazy. she's like, I'd prefer. Last night I was supposed to send her stuff, and usually they'll already resketch it and you haven't oh, done it. Oh, okay, yeah. But I was busy, and she's like, just come in tomorrow, and we'll just be really relaxed and try and work on something and get it done. Yeah, cool. And so I felt a lot less stressed, like trying to fit in heaps. heaps? Yeah. Before, um, <laughs> Yeah, it does. It's 
I don't know what it is. Is it usually yeah. the garlic or like what? No, I don't know. I think it's maybe it's like bland. the cabbage. I always like, like, like spice. Stuff. I always like spice. Yeah. I've never spice. Yeah. yeah. And the and spice is really dry. If there is spice, like it's mm. just chili flakes, but then with like a lot of dry stuff. But this changed my. It was good. It wasn't amazing. Like I wouldn't come back like all the time, but it was good. We got the five spice beef. You just want to try I'm that? Happy. I think yep. it's new. Um, but we're going to sign up this vlog now. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to go home and watch. Jake wants to watch. Seven minutes. Minutes. I forget how it goes. I forget too, actually. My tattoo artist mentioned it was a great yeah. movie, and I was like, actually, yeah, it, it actually is. is a really good and, movie. But I forget exactly how it goes. So. Which is good because we're getting older now, so we're forgetting <laughs> like what happens in movies, so we, so we can actually rewatch them. Like, I wish that would be. How funny are your grandparents? Your grandparents, every time we see them, they're like talking about what they have like watched recently. But they're like, wait, or we'll bring up something. They'll be like, wait, have, have we seen that before? Yeah. Like they keep rewatching movies. They, oh no, they have to write it down in their notepad. Otherwise, they'll forget, and then they'll begin it. watching it, and they'll get halfway, and they'll be like, oh, I remember now. Yeah, they're so cute. Sorry, there's like a dog going crazy. So busy. Anyway, it's all from us. Bye.